Prince Harry proudly shows off his newborn daughter Lilibet and son Archie has enabled him to feel more connected and responsible. As the Duke of Sussex surprise visits to see a children's charities award winners on today in London. The Duke of Sussex revealed that, he cried as hugged over his daughter, who was born on the 4th of June at a hospital in Santa Barbara, California. On Wednesday, Prince Harry has made a surprise appearance at a children's charity event in London the day before he is set to join his brother, Prince William, at the statue unveiling in honor of their mother. The Duke met winners of the Well Child Awards at a private garden party in Kew Gardens. He was joined by celebrities including Ed Sheeran, Ronnie Wood, Amanda Holden, AJ Pritchard and Abby Quinnan. Prior to greeting the winners, he spoke with friend and singer Ed Sheeran about fatherhood. The Duke of Sussex has referred to his newborn daughter Lilibet as being very chilled while his son Archie is in the phase now where he is running around like crazy. The Duke of Sussex now has two children, Archie and Lilibet, and he explained how fatherhood has enabled him to feel more connected, inspired and in awe of the resilience of these families. The two exchanged parenting notes ahead of meeting the winners, with Sheeran asking Harry, congratulations, a girl right? We just had a little girl 10 months ago now. You're still in the trenches now. How do you manage with two? Two is definitely a juggle, replied the Duke, according to Hello Magazine. Speaking to another guest later, Harry said of Lilibet, we've been lucky so far, she's very chilled and seems happy to just sit there while Archie is running around like crazy. Harry attended the awards, aimed at recognizing the young people recognized by the charity and those supporting them, alongside singer Ed Sheeran. Well Child is the national UK children's charity making it possible for children and young people with exceptional health needs to be cared for at home instead of hospital, according to the organization's site. Prince Harry has been a patron of Well Child since 2007. In 2019, he and the Duchess of Sussex attended the awards ceremony, which honors children and the healthcare workers that care for them. Even though Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were stripped of many of their official royal patronages earlier this year, both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have continued to work with several of their important charities, including Well Child. Speaking at the Well Child's Awards, the Duke of Sussex hailed the remarkable work of everyone involved and said the charity for seriously ill children has an extraordinarily special place in my heart. I wasn't a father at the time. And yet the stories of these children and parents transcended that. I didn't need to be a dad to feel the impact of this invaluable work. Now as a father of two, I feel all the more connected, inspired and in awe of the resilience of these families, who power through indescribable challenges with the support of Well Child. He added, the health of our children, of all of us, could not have been more on the forefront of our minds during the past year. And... Throughout this time, the Well Child community has set an example for how to show up and act with compassion for each other. I could not be prouder to be here, to meet this year's Well Child Award winners, to thank the nurses and doctors for all they do, and to celebrate these amazing families. The Duke of Sussex's attendance was a total secret, and it was an amazing moment when he surprised those in attendance. Prince Harry was snapped in the front passenger's seat of a Ranger Rover looking somewhat pensive. He was dressed casually in a blue sweater. Prince Harry met each winner of the prestigious awards, and posed for a socially distanced photograph on the lawn. The winners were chosen from hundreds of nominations from across the UK and categories included Inspirational Child and Young Person, Young Carer, Inspirational Nurse, Inspirational Doctor, Outstanding health professional and volunteer. Well Child Chief Executive, Colin Dyer explained there are more children and young people living with long-term, serious health needs than ever before. He added, the coronavirus outbreak has placed these children and families under more pressure than many of us can comprehend. It will also help us to shine a light on the dedication of those around them, from siblings professionals and volunteers who have gone above and beyond to help them through such challenging times. Prince Harry is currently in the UK for the unveiling of his mother's statue on what would have been her 60th birthday at Kensington Palace today. 
He arrived in London last Friday and spent five days self-isolating in his residence at Frogmore Cottage, Berkshire, before making the appearance at the awards. While the Duchess of Sussex remained at the couple's £11 million mansion in Montecito, California, with two-year-old Archie and four-week-old baby Lilibet. On today, all eyes on the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex, as Harry will stand by his brother's side to unveil a specially commissioned statue of Princess Diana to mark their late mother's 60th birthday. It is the second time Harry is in the UK since the bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in March, the first time being for his granddad Prince Flip's funeral on the 17th of April. Harry and William's joint appearance will come just four months after Harry and Meghan publicly accused the palace of failing to take her mental health issues seriously, and said an unnamed royal had made racist comments about their son Archie. In their interview with Oprah Winfrey broadcast in early March, Harry said his bond with William, 39, had been reduced to space following the fallout from Megxit. The Duke flew back to Britain for Prince Philip's funeral in April and was seen chatting to William and Kate following the service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. But he and William were separated by their cousin Peter Phillips in the procession behind the coffin en route to the church. Following the statue unveiling, however, they planned a private meeting, reports The Telegraph, in what could be a sign of reconciliation after the past several months of their much-discussed feud. The brothers reportedly called a truce for the ceremony in order to make sure that all the attention is on the actual statue installation honoring their late mother. Royal historian Robert Lacey told the Associated Press, the public shouldn't expect a quick resolution between the princes because they are fighting over core beliefs. While Prince William is defending the monarchy, Harry is defending his wife. It's a matter of love versus duty, with William standing for duty in the concept of the monarchy as he sees it, the author told the outlet. And then from Harry's point of view, love, loyalty to his wife. He is standing by her. However, despite their disagreements, William and Harry will put their differences aside out of respect for their mother during the statue ceremony. We're not going to see any acrimony or animosity between the brothers on Thursday, historian Ed Owens told the outlet. The event in the sunken garden at London's Kensington Palace will be their second public meeting since Harry, 36, and his wife Meghan Markle stepped away from royal duties over a year ago. Harry's trip back to the UK had been doubted by some royal commentators who said he would cancel it if Meghan gave birth around the same time as the 1st of July event. However, the Sussexes welcomed their daughter at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital on the 4th of June and announced the news two days later. They announced the birth of their newborn Lily at the beginning of the month, after Meghan opened up about the heartbreak of having a miscarriage following the birth of her first child Archie, now two. The couple chose to call their first daughter Lily but to honor the Queen, who used to be affectionately called that way by her family. And Harry chose to keep his late mum close to his growing family by giving his daughter the name Diana in her honour. Parents Harry and his wife Meghan Marco have been living in a £11 million mansion in Montecito, California, ever since they quit their lives as senior royals last year. Yo. Please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour. Ah. And don't forget activate notifications to channel to always get the latest news. If you have any problems with the information in the video, please write a comment below to let us know and answer.